Makilala TV asks the Filipino community why they should vote. Greetings, my dear friends in America. There is a very important event coming this November. No, it's not my birthday. It's election day. I am encouraging each and every one of you to go out and vote. Why? Because it is your right and responsibility. Let's go out and B-O-T-E, vote. Hello, my name is Christina Pastor. I am a journalist and I am also one of the co-hosts of Makilala TV. I just wanted to remind you to vote on November 3. You know, voting is a very powerful um, political exercise that we have as citizens of our country. It's like our constitutional weapon. If we wanted to change the way things are in government or if we want to preserve the way things are. So don't forget to vote on November 3. Vote and vote wisely. Hello everyone, I'm Josh Vasquez, an airline sales executive. I just would like to encourage you to vote. You know, voting is not only your right, it is also your responsibility to your country. It is also your chance to shape not only your future, but your children's and your children's children's future. So this November, grab your chance to choose the right leaders and make your voices heard. More importantly, your decisions count. Please vote. Hi, I'm Joyce Andes David. I'm a National Vice President for GCI USA, the organization that brought you the Get Out the Vote campaign in 1923. Um, at that time, we felt that this was such an important cause. And here we are again in 2020 advocating for the same thing. It's really important that you get out there, cast your votes, and exercise your civil duty. And as the late Congressman John Lewis said, um, the right to vote is precious, almost sacred. It is the most powerful nonviolent tool or resource um, in a democratic society. So we must use it. So please go out there and vote. Hello, I'm Elizabeth Cueva. I'm a lawyer and public officer working as a human rights specialist within New York State. This coming elections is very important for all of us because we are in the cusp of deciding what our future will be as a nation. As Filipino Americans, we need our voices to be heard. And by voting, we gain visibility, voice, and ultimately representation. So no matter what your political persuasion is, please go out there and exercise your right to vote. See you at the polls. My name is Janice Domingo. I'm an attorney in New Jersey and the first woman president of the National Filipino American Lawyers Association. One of my sheroes, the late Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg, once said that women belong in all places where decisions are being made. As a proud mother of an 11 year old girl, I couldn't agree more. I vote because the women before me fought for me to have the right to voice my choice for the person who is best able to lead this nation to promote the general welfare of all citizens, no matter what race, color, religion, gender, or sexuality. Asian Americans are the fastest growing racial ethnic group in the US electorate, and Filipino Americans are the second highest within that group. We are not powerless. We have a voice. We just have to exercise our right to vote. So please, whether you vote by mail or in person, make a plan and vote in November. Maraming salamat. Mabuhay! Magandang araw po sa inyo mga kababayan. My name is Vanna Bloom, makeup artist and beauty advisor, kapwa ninyo Filipino via New York City. It is a time of the year when we have to vote. Voting is a privilege and rights. Our voices and needs are heard when we vote. Please, mga kababayan ko, let us cast a vote. Come this November 3rd, 2020 and be heard. Let us participate in keeping our democracy alive. Did you know that only 50% of Filipinos participated in the 2016 presidential election? As the third largest Asian American group, our community truly has the potential power to change the course of American history. 
but we can only do so when we exercise our right to vote. Despite the unique challenges our entire world is facing at this very moment, each of us has the opportunity to curb the tide and help decide the faith of our nation with one simple act. Show up at the polls and cast your vote. It is your right, it is your duty. I'm Frank Santos, I work in healthcare. Kailangan nating bumoto sa susunod na halalan para mapanganagaan ang prinsipyo ng ating pinindigan. Kailangan nating bumoto para sa kinabukasan ng ating bayan at ng ating pamilya. Tayo nang bumoto. Hi, I'm Dr. Chris Cueto, and I'm a sports chiropractor and president, owner, and clinical director here at Harold's Square Chiropractic Sport and Harold's Square Medical Wellness. And I'm here to remind everyone that this Tuesday, November 3rd, to please go out and vote. This is your not only your civic right, but it's also our right, and our voices need to be heard. Whoever we elect in our office this year and the years to come directly affects our lives and our day-to-day -day living, our public health, our transportation, even our educational systems. Please, reminder, Go out and vote this November 3rd. Thanks again. Hello, fellow Kababayans. My name is Virginia Mayo Colicarpio, and I am an IBM Distinguished Engineer. I'm voting on November 3 because I want to ensure that Filipinos continue to have opportunities to grow their technical careers in America. I was 12 years old when I came to the U.S., and in 30 years, less than one lifetime, I am a technical executive in a Fortune 50 company. Let's do this and get the vote out on November 3. Thank you. Hey everybody, Kamusta? My name is Gino Kabiga, founder of Culture Co. And I am encouraging all of you to go out there and vote. Voting is crucial. It affects our lives, it affects our livelihoods, everything from our jobs, our jobs, our jobs, our jobs, to our health care. It affects our families, to our friends, it affects America, to the Philippines, it affects a whole bunch of different things. So I encourage you, all of you, to be the cool kid and go out there and vote and vote responsibly. Thank you. I'm Lisel from New York, founding attorney of Cobrador and Associates. Voting is fundamental in a democratic system. It's your civic duty. Too abstract, right? Let's talk real life. You have the power to decide your quality of life and the future generations. Voting is your chance to stand up for issues that matter to you, like immigration, healthcare, education, human rights, public transportation. Who you vote into office will decide the fate of these issues. So vote. Make your voice be heard. Hi, my name is Manja Sanchez, a retired registered nurse. Voting is our civic duty. So why is it important to vote? In all levels of government, voting matters. Our voice matters. If we don't exercise our right to vote and others don't as well, all those voices are silenced and that can impact this election. Go vote, be heard, participate. Vote for what matters to you and vote for the good of this country. Makilala TV invites you to go out to vote. Don't forget to vote. Yes, it's very important to go out and vote. It's going to be a very tight election. Every vote counts. No matter whom you vote, just vote because every vote counts. Visit our friends at www.nafa.org backslash vote for more info on voting at this upcoming elections. Get out the vote and get your voices heard.